Hey guys, it's Joe here from Priority Tech, and today I'm going to be looking at two of the most popular pieces of recording software on the market. I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison of Fraps and OBS. I will be breaking them down into the following categories. File size, performance, output quality, price, and ease of use. First up is file size. Now since it's difficult to match the times of recording up perfectly, I'm going to take the overall file size and divide it by the number of seconds in the video. This will give us the most accurate measurement possible. First up is OBS. The OBS video was 2 minutes and 16 seconds long, so 136 seconds. The file was 32.7 megabytes. That gives us a file size of 0.24 megabytes per second. Next up is Fraps. The Fraps video is 2 minutes and 20 seconds long, so 140 seconds. The file was 2.53 gigabytes, which comes out to about 18 megabytes per second. I think it's pretty safe to say that in terms of file sizes, OBS comes out the clear victor. Now, using the Just Cause 2 Dark Tower as our benchmark, we can measure the performance hit of Fraps versus OBS with relative ease. Recording with OBS, we get a runtime of 120.01 seconds and an average of 59.99 frames per second. Recording with Fraps, we get a runtime of 120.10 seconds and an average of 59.91 frames per second. This is an insanely small difference, but remember, this is a relatively old game, so expect that gap to widen quite significantly on your titles. Regardless of the narrow margins, however, OBS is again the clear winner. Our next benchmark is output quality. I'll play the benchmark side by side for OBS and Fraps so you can see, but the difference is astonishing. Fraps wins this one on all fronts, with better color representation, far less visual noise, and smoother resolution, all at a nearly identical frame rate. The obvious winner for round 3 is Fraps. Our next benchmark is price. At the time of recording this video, Fraps costs $37, while OBS remains completely free. The obvious winner is again OBS. And finally we have ease of use. So in order to capture a video in OBS, you need to add a source, and for games in particular, you can either select to capture any full screen application, or you can select to record a particular running application from the drop down menu. Fraps on the other hand, let, just latches onto any DirectX based application that you happen to be running at the given time. Now while the OBS drop down feature is certainly convenient for some workloads, as far as simplicity goes, Fraps is the clear victor. So which software should you use? Well, if you plan to do a lot of streaming on Twitch or even YouTube, I recommend OBS, as that functionality is built in and works quite well. I also recommend OBS if you're trying to crank out the highest possible FPS for your viewers. On the other hand, if you're looking for sheer quality and can afford it, you really can't beat Fraps, with every pixel being in the right place and perfect color representation. Long story short, OBS for streaming, Fraps for recording.